Hi guys, this is Mark Everger with Oily Family Television. We help families live better lives with essential oils. I'm here with Dan Olson who works over at Whispering Springs Farm here in Mona, Utah, and you are the distillation manager, correct? Correct, yep. Okay, uh, Dan, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself first, just kind of how you came to be with uh, Young Living? Just a short version of it, and, uh, and then we'll get into more of what you do over there. Sure. Um, basically, my background is agriculture and farming, and that's how I came to Young Living. Since I've been at Young Living, I've done a lot of uh, training, you know, through Gary and through uh, previous people that have worked there and that work there now. Um, a lot of it is hands-on and, and just uh, experience over time. Now, did you start as a distillation manager, or did you work your way up? I worked my way up, yep. Yeah, you did. How, how, so four years there, how long have you been a distillation manager? About three and a half. When it comes to distilling, let's say lavender, let's take lavender for example. Okay. What are some important things to remember about distilling lavender that you can talk about that maybe folks at home wouldn't know? All right, a lot of things about lavender is the weather. Um, weather plays a big part in all of our distillation process, but especially lavender. Um, it determines, you know, when it comes in so we can harvest it, um, how well or how much oil we get out of our, you know, our process through um, harvesting lavender. And so weather is a big factor. And then the other factor is timing of distillation after it's been harvested. So we have a, a process of harvesting and then a dry time, um, which is very crucial. We, I monitor it really closely to make sure that we actually distill it after it's been harvested at the right time. Generally what happens for lavender is we harvest it, then we let it dry, and right before it dies, it opens up its pores to release everything in the plant. And that's the best time to get all of the oil and the highest properties of oil. And so I know, you know, through testing and through experience, um, when that optimal time is so that we can then throw it in our, our kettles and vats and distill it. Now, is that kind of a trade secret on how long that's going to be, or can you give us a framework? Um, yes and no. Days or weeks? It's, or It's generally around 24 hours, but it depends on the weather. Heat depends, you know, varies it a lot. So it's collected. I, I've seen the tractors where it kind of chops the tops off, chops the flowers off, right? Yep. And then you guys sit, uh, put it out on the deck where it stays for say 24 hours or, yep. or whatever yep. and you're, are you monitoring at this point and you're like okay now it's ready you know by sight or how do you determine that um, a bricks test and a pH test and sight a lot of its fill as well filling the plant knowing what it should feel like how much moisture's come out of it um, to where it's dry enough to release it open the pores and release it thanks so much for checking out this video please subscribe for more videos just like this and hit the like button be sure to share it with folks so we can help get the word out about essential oils have a great week